Familiarize yourself with radiative and non-radiative transition. A radiative transition involves emission or absorption of a photon. As seen in the diagram, suppose, there is an electron in conduction band, say at a level E2, and a hole in valence band, say at a level E1, when this electron makes a transition from E2 to E1, the difference in energy is released in the form of a photon. Example E2 E1 equals H nu. It could also be a transition of an electron from valence band to conduction band. In case of a non-radiative transition, the energy difference is given in the form of phonon. This process dominates in indirect band semiconductors. As seen in the diagram, suppose there is an electron in conduction band and a hole top of valence band, wherever the electron wants to make a recombination with hole, then it has to make an oblique transition. This is not permitted by case selection rule as the transition should be vertical. In this case, delta K is very large and so the energy is released in the form of phonon. Need of defining optical joint density of states